So I've got a full on dedicated healer build and it's full on, I've based it all around healing. So I've got one way of keeping our healing going, two ways of keeping our healing going and then we've also got another way and this all applies to you and your teammates. So we've got three ways of keeping a constant flow, a nice steady flow of healing, providing a nice buff to your teammates. So the full part of the build I'll go through as we go, but I'm just going to explain the main parts of the build. Boots of the Assembler is one of the key parts, because what this does is any time you put your Rift down, it's going to create a Noble Seeker that seeks out allies that are not in the Rift, and it heals them. And you can also use the Empowering Rift if you're not using the Healing Rift. The Empowering Rift does pretty much the same thing, but obviously it gives an Empowering buff versus a Healing. But like I said, this video is all about the Healing. So I've basically just based it around the healing rift. So putting that down and it acts as like a little turret and it's going to seek out uh, the little projectiles. It's going to seek out you, you and your teammates for a sort of a long period of time. The other one you can run is the newish, well I say new, it's newish, the warlock exotic glaive edge of intent. Uh, what that does is when weapon energy is full, consume it before firing to make your next shot deploy a healing turret. So it's a bit like the boots of the assembler. It deploys a healing turret on the floor and these little white, like little noble seekers or beneficial seekers, we'll call them. They sort of stay on the ground like the edge, uh, like the boots of the assembler, sorry. So we've got two ways there of keeping a nice consistent flow going all the time. And then the other one you can run, if you don't like running glaives or you don't have the warlock glaive, you can run Lamina. Kills with this weapon, leave behind remnants. Absorbing Remnant converts your next hip fired shot into an ally seeking Noble Round and it partially refills the magazine but on top of that it also heals them and it gives them a damage buff as well so it's a 35% damage buff which is really really nice and it is also going to heal them so with all that being said all them different ways to keep a constant flow of healing we haven't mentioned the healing grenade yet. The healing grenade is also another big part. So I've got all them other ways of keeping the flow going. And on top of that, we're going to have the healing grenade. A grenade that cures allies on impact and creates an orb of benevolent solar light. Uh, applying restoration. At the moment, it's only restoration times one. But if you run touch of flame, it turns it to a restoration times two. So it gives the touch of flame, it gives the grenades an enhanced capabilities so it turns it from a times one restoration to a times two restoration so keeping all that going bearing in mind i'm going to keep saying this flow because it's all about this benevolence here applying restoration cure or radiant to allies grants increased damage melee and class ability regeneration for a short duration so keeping that flow of healing from the boots of the assembly the glaive the lamina and the grenade is all going to work beautifully together because it's going to give you increased regeneration on your main parts of the build your grenade class ability and your melee so everything working together and that creates like a nice really nice flow that you can just sit back and just heal your teammates over and over again so that's the healing grenade your restoration times two and then you've got the glaive working so there's like little turrets i was talking about that just travel towards you and your teammates and now this is the boots of the assembler popping that rift down there and both of them at the same time you can use them at the same time or whenever like space them out if you like and now this is the lamina this is the other way you can do it if you don't have the glaive that's them little healing turrets that also heal and they apply a 35 percent damage buff now i just want to show you a little tip as well about getting your grenade back really quick if you run impact induction what this does causing damage with a melee attack reduces your grenade and then you can also Put bomber on using your class ability also reduces your grenade so the grenade being quite an important part of this build this is just a little way i'll show you now if you use my grenade i'm going to throw my melee and then go straight back down put my rift down that's the impact induction and the bomber buff working together and as you can see just them two alone that's giving me a good 60 to 65 percent of that grenade back so it's really nice little tip like a little trick you can run so in all them clips that you've seen, I didn't have Ember of Benevolence uh, proct either because that only works when you've got teammates with you. So we're going to get even more sort of cooldown on that grenade as well. So here's some clips for you now. And this is why I really enjoy this build because what you're going to see, that's the glaive into that side of the area there. From a grenade for that fella as well. So it's keeping him healed. I'm keeping the right of him healed. 
and I'm also popping my boots of the assembler rift so you've covered three areas and as you saw then I got my grenade back really quick I threw two in about six seconds so that's where you can sort of do same situation here I've covered one area of healing just to that right side there I know I've got a player behind me so I'm going to keep him nice and healed and then I've seen this guy running in so I'll throw a grenade at him to keep him nice and healed give him that restoration times two to keep him safe and I'm an ogre and then again similar here sitting back popping my boots of the assembler rift and I noticed two guys are pushing to the right so I've stuck my glaive turret healing turret down there just to keep them nice and healed and that fella there with his bow popping away the snipers I thought I'd give him a times two healing grenade as well so I really enjoy this type of play I really enjoy playing like this and on top of that you're a warlock you've also got your well of radiance as well which is another key part of this build i just haven't focused on it too much it seemed a bit of an obvious sort of thing but there you go just more situations for me covering multiple areas at a time healing uh, consistently and uh, multiple sort of areas different people giving them a nice healing keeping that benevolence going all of the time uh I've used it in everything master catch uh master wellspring the raids and the more you use it the more you'll find decent little areas to put your rifts and things like that like i found here just putting a rift right on the corner here uh, just where you're going to see now that boots of the assembler and that's going to spread to all them people on that right hand side uh, for example if you're doing the gaze for Golgoroth, you can just stick one again healing grenade down there and put that rift just on this corner here and that's going to keep flowing to them it all doing damage down there as well so the more you use it the more you're going to get used to sort of putting areas again the war priest is going to do his uh his kill torrent so we're just going to keep our teammates healed there with that one and i'm going to keep my friend grim nice and healed while he's dealing with the taken uh just a really fun different way to play so i've really enjoyed using it um if you enjoy healer builds or something like that or you've played healers in different games tacticians maybe in division one uh you will like this build it's really nice and I've tried to do it the best around getting your grenade back and keeping that flow of benevolence going to get that regen on that grenade as well so it's a really solid build the only thing that's left to do now is to show you uh, what other mods I'm running because I'm running things like uh, firepower on there as well to give you that bit of extra grenade kick back as well and then I've also got a few more uh, fragments to show you which are also going to give your teammates a damage buff as well with radiant so we can give your teammates radiant as well as all the healing and like 25 percent damage buff so stay tuned i've got the rest of the build to show you which will take like so this is now the final piece of the build uh, i just want to say this bit you can skip if you don't want to listen to my voice anymore i will leave a dim link in the video description these are the aspects and fragments i'm running just to finalize it touch of flame and heat rises healing grenade celestial fire i found this one the best by far it's got loads of range it applies 30 scorch off the bat as well straight away so it's pretty nice uh, you can apply that radiant from anywhere when you wherever you are that radiant buff your two teammates you can apply anywhere healing rift or empowering rift it depends in the situation i prefer healing rift uh, any of them work nicely with the Boots of the Assembler, Ember of, Ember of Sinjin, your class ability recharges faster when you scorch targets, so when you use your melee you're going to get your class ability back on top of that impact induction thing that we showed as well. Ember of Benevolence, that's the key part. All everything you've seen with the Glaive and the Lamina and the Healing Grenade, that's all going to keep that Ember of Benevolence going, plus your Rift, so that's a really big part of it and that keeps that nice flow going. Like I've said, that flow went about five times. Ember of Torches, powered melee attacks against combatants make you and your nearby allies radiant and an ember of solace to keep that radiant and restoration effect a bit of extra time so it's really nice little setup you give give your teammates a damage buff of 25% as well all the time with your melee yeah, I, I always like to run taking charge on these type of builds I'll explain why but taking charge and then paired with like a siphon mod of your choice whichever weapons you're running is going to create you plenty of orbs as well now the reason why I like to run plenty of orbs is because I run a mod called Firepower, so we get our grenade back. Shield Break Charge is another one as well, sorry, before I go on to the Firepower, that's another way of getting your a Charge with Light. And then what the Firepower mod does, while Charge with Light, we gain a portion of your grenade energy when you use your grenade, and that consumes one stack, so when you throw your grenade, uh, you get like 20% back with two. I run two of these. 
So it's just another little boost towards your grenade, because obviously the grenade, the healing grenade, to get the restoration times too, is a big part. And then powerful friends, when you become charged with light, nearby allies also become charged with light. So a lot of people I play with still like to get charged with light, so it's a full on support build, all the healing nice little touch having that powerful friends on there as well that's the build is my customization if you're interested i hope the build's been good have a great day